hello guys welcome back in this video we will explore the carousel component from and design we will see how we can add different slides in the carousel component and we will see how to auto play them and we will see how we can move between different uh, slides using the outer buttons or using the, the swipe so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the carousel from and design and start using it so suppose we want to show the carousel uh, here so let's add a, a container for that so maybe a div uh, with the style let's add uh, width of uh, maybe 300 pixel and with also height of 300 pixels uh, let's give it a background color to see where it is showing right now here you go okay so inside that uh, let's add the carousel and inside carousel uh, we will be adding different react components so the components we want those to be available in the carousel and sc scrollable and uh, things like that so let's add uh, simple components like we can add div and inside div maybe we can say the h1 we can say uh, slide one here you go slide one has been added so let's give it a style okay maybe we can say uh, its color is white there you go and let's give it a line height of same 300 pixels so that it's just uh, cover the whole space and let's copy it and a few more two three four Maybe we can say slide one slide two this is slide 3 and this is slide 4 okay save it there you go slide 1 and right now it's staying at the slide 1 so on the carousel we can say that uh, auto play so that it can uh, move between different slides so slide 2 and slide 3 and so on we can also move this uh, using these dots so while I'm clicking on uh, any of the dot, it is it is moving. Okay, and also if we, we need to control uh, whether we need to show the uh, these dots or not, we can do that as well. You uh, using dots is equal to false. Okay, so no, uh, the, it is not showing the dots. So let's make them true. Okay, let's. Uh, give it a more style maybe we can change the background color of each slide to look it different maybe we can say background color of the first slide is red and a second maybe we can say blue and for the third we can say purple and for the fourth we can say maybe you know, hex f0 f okay pink save it here you go so slide 3 purple pink and slide 1 is red slide 2 will be blue okay and also we can control uh, the position of these dots as well so in the carousel we can say dot position there are four options available right now it's on the bottom we can say uh, whether to show on the left side or right side or the top side that's choose those one by one it's on the left then on the right and on the top there you go and on the bottom okay and also uh, sometimes we are uh, on these slides we are showing some content and we want to say that if user is uh, on it uh, we want that 
uh, when user is hovering on it, we want to say that uh, do not slide uh, to the next slide. So, we can control that as well. So, that will be uh, on pause on hover and we can pause it uh, true or false uh, based on that and also there is uh, we can do the same on when user hovers on these dots as well. So, that is also pause on dots over. So, we can uh, say true or false accordingly. Okay. So, no uh, pause on hover and pause on dots over is true. So, when I hover on it, so the slide will stay there instead of navigating to the third slide and fourth slide. Right? And when I move mouse away, so it should now uh, slide to the to the next one, right? And also we can, uh, we we can control this um, sliding uh, via draggable as well. So if I say draggable, by default it's tr uh, I'm if I add any prop here, that means it it is we, I'm setting it true. So if I drag it here, you can see try two, three and drag back as well. Okay. And also we, uh, if we want to control uh, the, uh, the, the slide uh, from the outer world, we can do that as well. So, suppose from uh, on, on the out, from outer world, we have a buttons, next button, previous button, we can do that or, uh, or if we want to quickly jump to a particular slide, we can do that as well. So, let us add few buttons on the bottom after the closal, maybe after this div. So, I have uh, let us add let me add a div and inside that let me add a button from end design and I can say the first button is previous and uh, maybe in last button is next and maybe in uh, middle button we can say uh, jump to a particular uh, slide or we can say reset to the first slide. Here you go the buttons and on click of this uh, what we we need to do is we need a reference to this carousel and here we will be calling its functions. So, to add the reference, uh, let us add using the use ref. So, we can say const ref is equal to use ref from the react. I have a separate video on uh, how to use this use ref hook. So, I will add this link in the de description below. So, you can take a look. And here on the, on the carousel, we can say ref is equal to the ref we have defined here and here uh, on click of the previous button uh, what we need to do is ref dot to get its current value uh, i mean the the current value will contain the reference to this closer and on this closer we will be calling the previous function and let's copy the its own click and add on the others as well and here we are calling previous and on the next we will be calling the next and on the reset we will be saying that go to the, the slide number maybe we could it is a reset we can say the slide number 0 or we can change it to 1, 2, 3, but wherever we, we need it. Okay. So, now if I click on the next it is going to the next slides and if I go to the press it is going back next back and right now it is on 3 if I click the reset it moved back to the, the first slide right and we can um, do this using the this uh, draggable as well right and also we can uh, change the this sliding effect instead of the, the scroll we can say uh, it, it should uh, fade. So, that is the effect. So, there are two effects available one is scroll x that is right now it is choosing the other one is the fade and if I choose fade. So, if it if it move to next if we just fade and then show the next just blinks and 
move to the next slide or the previous. So, let us make it back to scroll. So, let us start scrolling. Okay. So, uh, you see that uh, here we have only used uh, the very basic component uh, in this in this carousel with the div and the h1. So, you can use any react component here uh, that includes the images, icons, text, anything. So, that will be scrolling or the fading while uh, it is navigating from the one slide to the other one. All right. So, that is it on exploring the carousel component from end design. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have learned something in this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.